Hey, it's Derek from CodeOpinion.com, and I'm going to look at how in ASP.NET Core we can handle different environments, different hosting environments, such as development, staging, production, whatever different type of environments you want, and how you want code to react differently depending on which environment you're in. <laughs> All right, so I'm in VS Code, and this is just a default ASP.NET template. What you can see here in the startup file is the iHosting uh, environment has a couple different extension methods here for checking, like if it's the development environment. Otherwise, um, like if it's it is, it's using some exception page. Otherwise, it's using an exception handler. And there's some other um, extensions here, such as if it's production or staging, or you can check a specific environment. So you may wonder, how actually is that being defined? And it's it's pretty much a static thing that's defined um, for these extension methods, whether it's development, production, or staging. And the way you can define that is by looking at uh, the launch settings. So in VS Code, when you install OmniSharp, it will automatically make a launch.json file in the VS Code directory. And if we scroll down on this file, we can see that this is where it defines the environment. So like I said, this is a very static thing that ASP.NET Core is looking at, this particular key, um, which is, for development purposes, defined here. Um, so we can see it's uh, set to development. If we set this to staging or production, ultimately, that's what would be relevant for this particular line. So that's how it's done in VS Code when you're using OmniSharp. Um, if you're creating this project from Visual Studio, um, it puts it in a different place, but regardless, it's kind of the same. It's exactly the same, is that it creates a properties directory and the launch settings file is here. So you have two ways of dealing with it within Visual Studio. Um, you can deal with it visually, and if you open up the properties and go to debug, the debug tab, you can see how you have the environment variable here. Um, as well, if you just want to look at it manually, um, you can open the file up uh, as well and see it here. So we have two different pro profiles that we're using, which ultimately are um, from when you're debugging, when you're actually going to be running. So we can see IS Express, and then just running the actual um, kind of console app itself. But both are using the same development environment. So this is actually the other place where you could define other environment variables that your application wants to use or that you're going to be using within your application um, that for development purposes you may not actually want to define them as legitimate environment variables um, so you could define those here and when you go to staging production or any other type of environments um, you actually could set them as legitimate operating system um, environment variables which you would use so that's just an easy way to set environments, use different environments. Um, I hope that was useful, showing it both in VS Code and Visual Studio. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, and I'd appreciate if you'd subscribe for more .NET-related videos. Thanks.